It's your boy Moldog here. I want to say congrats to the Miami Dolphins. This isn't really a crow video because I didn't make a hate week video. I didn't make a hate week video because after I saw that Prop C didn't pass, I kind of figured the Chargers were going to lose this game because the Chargers have been punishing the fans all this year about not getting their stadium or about wanting us not to go to the game so they have an excuse to move to L.A. The running game... Well, let me just start off with Melvin Gordon. I can't really hit on Melvin Gordon. To me, at times they should have used him in the red zone. They decided to throw when it's two yards to a touchdown. And what happens? Phillip River gets picked off. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four fucking times in the last ten minutes of the game. Phillip Rivers gave the game away. That's how I see it. We voted no on Prop C. We were going to lose this game. That's all, That's how they punish their fans. That's what the Dean Spranos and our team does. There was no reason why we lost this game. Other than that, not taking any away from the Dolphins. We were better throwing, obviously, because we were through, what, 330 yards, three touchdowns. Tannehill, 240 yards, two touchdowns. Their rushing game was a little bit better than ours by, what, 30, maybe 35 yards. At times, we should have given Melvin Gordon the ball. We didn't. We relied on Phillip Rivers too much. Williams, 125 yards, touchdown, good for him. I got no hit on him. Gates, 63 yards and a touchdown. I don't expect much from Gates. But Melvin Gordon also got 60 plus yards on uh, receiving. Over 100 yards in total play today. I can't hit on Melvin Gordon. He's been proving me wrong. Our defense didn't do much in this game. They kept us in. They even um, got a turnover on special teams. That's about it. Offensively, we gave the game away. But like I said, in my opinion, we did it on purpose just because we voted no on Prop C. I'm glad we're going into the bye week. I'm expecting two more wins from my team this season. If we get more, of course, I will celebrate every single win we get because that's the kind of fan I am. I don't care if the season's over or not, and our season is over for going to the playoffs. We ain't going to the playoffs. We're four and six. We're not going to the playoffs. With it, not with the West doing as good as it is, we're not going to the playoffs. I'm just checking out, just got off work, checking out some of the stats. I said at the beginning of the year that the Chargers were losing games on purpose because we wanted, they want a new stadium in downtown. Dean, Dean Spranos does not want us to have a stadium in Mission Valley, downtown only. San Diego turned that shit down. And to be honest, we don't need a new stadium. Fix up the Qualcomm. Or build it there. I, I get to enjoy football next week. No Charger game. Nothing. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm probably not even going to watch football next week. I'm too bummed out from this team. Mark Anthony. Skinky55. Andrew Marcus. Jay Dillon. Charger fan 94. All my other fellow Charger fans, you can tell me what you think, agree or disagree with me. But to me, we're doing this on purpose. And I just found out too that they can actually hold on till next year, until what, November, to make a decision if we're moving to LA or not. Something else piss off the fans. Something else to make the fans stress out. You're not getting your stadium in San Diego. If you, Dean, Sam, Dean Ambrose, Dean, Dean Spanos, 
if he doesn't want to have a stadium in Mission Valley, which he said clearly he don't, L.A. is the only other way to go. L.A., if they move to L.A., I really hope when they get that stadium that Dean Spanos sells a team with someone who loves it. You need someone who maybe Michael Jordan might buy it. Is it Michael Jordan? Yeah. He bought the Dodgers, right? Maybe he might buy the Chargers do something with them. Because God knows Dean Sobranos only cares about the money. Anyway, shout out to the Chargers fans. Again, congratulations to the... I don't even know if anyone's even a Dolphins fan, to be honest. Shout out to them. What do I got?